who's the quarterback or offense we're not talking about that you think we should be? Jordan Palmer. What do you got for me? Oh, man. Um, you know, there's a, there's a couple of them, but I, I think there's one guy that uh, maybe the longest offseason – and had had to suffer through the longest off season, which is Ryan Tannehill um, right now. Cause it's preseason stuff. We're talking about Malik Willis, but how's Ryan Tannehill going to respond? Because they, I mean, they were the number one season, the AFC last year, Derek Henry was hurt quite a bit, came back. And then to throw three picks uh, when your defense, I think they sacked Burrow. What was it? Seven, eight, nine times. Nine. Like that. Yep. Nine times. Um, how's Ryan Tannehill respond here? You know, they got a young guy. We had we heard the comment that he made, which, you know, I think was blown out of proportion, but about, you know, it's not my job to help Malik. But I, I'm curious what's going to happen in Tennessee because it's still a good defense. It's still, you know, Derrick Henry's healthy, probably the last team you want to play when it comes to running the football. Um, so that – and it's a small market. And it just kind of – they just flip through the cracks a lot. And so I'm really curious to see how Ryan Tannehill responds um, to, like I said, I think maybe the longest offseason of the year. That is one of them. No doubt about it. And, and I mean, I, I think it's his gig, right? I mean, do, do you think any of the rookies have a shot to start this year? I guess Pickett does look like one who's got the best shot at a week one potential so far. I, I don't know. Yeah, he's What's your the sense? only guy that's got a shot at that. I don't know the, the value in running with Kenny when um, right now. And, and Kenny's actually a guest on uh, on our, our show that you've been mentioning. Yes. Um, the room. He's a guest next week. Um, and, and so excited to talk with him. But, um, I don't know what you gain out of it. It's kind of like in Atlanta. You know, they just went ahead and stayed, named Marcus Mariota the starter because what's the point in having a QB competition right. if it's close at all? Now, if if Trubisky was, you know, playing the worst ball of his career and Kenny's doing what he's doing right now, it makes more sense. But when you've got a veteran and, and a rookie and they're both they're both playing, you know, commiserate, you know what I mean, about, about the same, all that, I just err on the side of going with the older guy because um, you can always make that switch down the road. So, I do think that Desmond has a chance to start this year in Atlanta, um, whether it's because they're struggling or, or injury, and uh, and I and I think the same thing with Kenny. Uh, but I, I I'm excited to watch Trubisky play. Maybe that's an answer to what offense am I excited? Sure. I'm excited to watch Trubisky play in this system because just hearing Josh Allen talk about him last year when he went and got a year out of the spotlight, out of Chicago, got got to go back up Josh, watch him play at that level he played at. I'm excited to watch Trubisky how he responds too.